this is a fairly typical example of what you can uh, pull out of a running Indian Enfield bullet engine. This crank has got a lot of run out right up the main bearings where you don't want it. And I'll give it a spin now and you'll see that we've got it set up here. We've got no run out on the time inside the main shaft. Okay, so that's running true. God knows who's been hitting the flywheels with what to align them. But the, the edge of one is like an old threepenny bit. It's had a good old bashing with a hammer of some sort. But if we look at this dial gauge, now from one number to the next is 0.1 of a millimetre or 4 thou. So we've got 8 thou run out there, right by the main bearing. That's interesting. I'll just stop a minute. I'll move the gauge along towards closer to the end of the main shaft. Give it a spin there. Move it a bit more on the keyway there. Next to nothing. Uh, if we saw that all the way along, that would be fine. That would be well within tolerance. But that goes to show that this end of the crank has been supported true by the rotating centre holding it, as likewise is this end. So at the extreme ends, as you might expect, everything's running true or damn near true. But as we move the dial gauge inwards, so just down a second, so as we get closer to the main bearing and the big end, the run out increases dramatically, and that's far too much. Eight thou there. It's going to destroy the main bearings in no time and in actual fact we've still got the inner race of the one of the drive side main bearings the roller bearing in situ and if i turn it you can actually see possibly i can see it the worn area has sort of become dull rather than shiny so there must have been immense strain on those main bearings and also whether this is related or something else has caused it, but the end of the main shaft has got so hot it's become discoloured. Maybe someone heated it to get a nut undone. I would have thought that it would have been uh, discoloured more in here if it had been anything to do with the bearings causing it and the run out. So maybe someone just heated the end of the shaft there to get something undone. But we have to split this crank. I'm going to have to split it anyway because I'm going to lighten it for tuning another engine and um, get it apart, probably get that main shaft out as well, whatever it needs, try and sort of knock it back into shape and it will be about £3 lighter after I've finished with it and ready to go in an engine again, assuming that it can be sorted of course, I'm sure it can, um, so the next, next thing to do is get it out of here and split it and have a look at everything and take it from there.